Now, it should be no surprise that FUA surgery and for hair transplant uh, procedures is gaining popularity for patients who are looking for a more minimally invasive approach as to surgical hair restoration as a surrogate, as some as an exchange for a strip-based uh, excision and, and harvest procedure. While it's always been considered to be less invasive than a strip uh, excision procedure, manual FUE is a much more labor-intensive approach, okay? You have different types of FUE approaches. You have the manual device, okay? Very, very uh, excellent uh, Spanish uh, surgeons. Um, Dr. Lorenzo uh, from Madrid, Spain is a very famous uh, manual surgeon, uh, and followed by the motorized devices, and there are many of them. John Cole has his own device, Dr. Jim Harris has his own device, and, and there are several others that have their uh, devices that are in the making. And followed by the uh, other motorized devices like the Neograft. The Neograft is slightly different, and you have ultimately the uh, sort of the end-all, be-all, which is the artist system or the uh, robotic system, which offers, uh, without a doubt, the highest level of precision and accuracy uh, that is that is consistent, okay, and that sort of that continues to provide that uh, level of precision, okay. All right, now until now the surgeon. Or until now, the challenge has been really that the surgeon spends a disproportionate amount of time extracting hair in the donor area. And so that left little time for overall for the artistic hair uh, transplant and design and creation of the recipient sites to give you that really natural appearing approach. And so now we're able to rely on the robot to harvest and dissect and do some of the more monotonous things that require high levels of accuracy and precision but yet can be sort of delegated to a, uh, to a machine, okay? The artistic capabilities, however, on the other hand, cannot, okay? The recipient sites uh, making at this point, this phase of robotic hair transplantation is not something that we rely on the robot to do. Now, the image-guided robotic arm is uh, programmed with a, a series of complex algorithms and sensors. This enables the system to sort of de to, to measure the density of the uh, of the donor area, it measures the angles. Uh, it measures the uh, angles of approach of each hair shaft in the, in the donor area. It can calculate the angle of approach before it dissects, and it does a very amazing uh, set of things with a, with a, a series of a couple of cameras. Okay, the art system also uh, is being modified continuously. Almost every couple of months, there's a software upgrade or some sort of improvement. Uh, that allows it to continue to, to, to improve uh, its precision and its accuracy and its delivery of, a, of an even better hair restoration procedure over time. Okay? Very good.